In this video, I'm going to talk about using the twos complement system to represent signed binary numbers. Now keep in mind, when I use the term twos complement, there actually is two meanings that that, that can represent. The first one is the twos complement system, which is a system for representing signed binary numbers. And the second meaning of twos complement is, is simply a mathematical operation that you can perform on binary numbers, which is essentially like multiplying the numbers by a negative one. And hopefully things will become clear as you watch the rest of the video. Now in a writing system, we just represent signed numbers by putting a negative sign in front of negative numbers. So if I wanted to write the number positive five, I would just write it as five. If I wanted to write the negative 5, I would write 5 again, but then put a negative sign in front of it. So that's a simple way of representing negative numbers if we're, if we're writing the numbers down. Similarly, I could do the same thing if it was a binary number. So the binary number 5, 1, 0, 1. Or if I wanted to write negative 5 in binary, I could write negative 1, 0, 1. In a computer system, we don't have the luxury of having a negative sign. We can only represent numbers with ones and zeros. So somehow we have to use the ones and zeros to represent negative numbers. And one way of doing that is using the twos complement system. Now, in, in any signed binary number representation that, that's going to be implemented on a computer, one thing to keep in mind is that the number of bits has to be a fixed number. We have to say this is an 8-bit system or this is an 8-bit number system or a 16-bit number system or a 4-bit number system because those number, the number of bits is very important in helping determine what the sign of the number is. Well, let's look at a simple example and just say that it's a 4-bit system just so we don't have to deal with too many bits. We've got a 4-bit system and we're going to represent signed numbers using the 2's complement system. So in general, you can, you can figure out whether the number is positive or negative by looking at the most significant bit. If the most significant bit is a 0, then it's a positive number. If it's a 1, it's a negative number. So a positive number, let's say, oh, let's go back to our example of, of number 5. The number 5 would look like this in a 4-bit system using the 2's complement system. 0, 1, 0, 1. So there's the number 5, and there's the sign bit. Now, if we wanted to write, write a negative 5, that's a 5, want to write a negative 5, what we would do is apply the 2's complement operation on the positive 5 to give us the negative 5. So the 2's complement operation involves two steps. The first step is to flip all the bits. So in other words, that means to make any 0 a 1 and any 1 a 0. So the, to take the number 5, 0, 1, 0, 1, flip all the bits would become 1, 0, 1, 0. So that first step is actually the ones complement operation. And then the second step is to add one. So then that one zero one zero add one to it becomes one zero one one. So that number there in a four bit twos complement system is equal to negative five. Now here are all of the values in a four bit twos complement system. With four bits, you can represent 16 different things from 0, 0, 0, 0 up to 1, 1, 1, 1. So for an unsigned number system, you can represent the numbers from 0 up to 15. For a signed number system, in this case the 2's complement number system, we can represent the numbers from negative 8 all the way up to positive 7. And a couple things to note in this table here is that all of the positive numbers start with the, number, well, start with the bit 0, all of the negative numbers start with the bit 1. Another thing to note that should be obvious since this is the 2's complement system is that the negative number, negative 1, the, the binary representation of negative 1, is determined by taking the 2's complement of positive 1. And the third thing to note in this system is that the magnitude of the lowest negative number is higher than the magnitude of the highest positive number. In general, for any 2's complement system, we can represent numbers from negative 2 to the n minus 1, up to 2 to the n minus 1 minus 1, where n is equal to the number of bits in the system. In this case, the number of bits in the system is 4, so 2 to the n minus 1 would be 2 to the 2 cubed, and because since n is 4, 2 cubed, negative 8, up to, again, 2 cubed, 8 minus 1, up to, up to 7, so from negative 8 up to positive 7. And one last note about this system, and it's something I've mentioned before, I just wanted to remind you, is that the twos complement ref can refer to the entire system here. We've got a four-bit four twos complement system for representing signed binary numbers, but the determination of the, 
of the negative of a number is determined by the twos complement operation where we flip all the bits and add one which is that twos complement operation is the again it's essentially multiplying by negative one now let's put what we know into practice and look at an 8-bit twos complement system so what is the range of values that you can have in an 8-bit twos complement system well we just said that you can have negative 2 to the n minus 1, so there's negative 2 to the 7th, up to 2 to the 7th minus 1. So this is going to be negative 128 will be the lowest number that we can represent, and the highest number that we can represent is going to be 127. So that's the range of values you can have in an 8-bit 2's complement system. Now, let's look at a, an example number. Maybe the number 5 again, because we're, we've used that a couple times. So in an 8-bit 2's complement system, the number 5 would look like this. Remember, it's an 8-bit system, so we need 8 bits. A 5 just by itself would be 101, but that's just 3 bits, so we need 5 more bits, and we're going to have to pad the beginning with zeros. And to make 8 bits, we need 5 zeros, so the number 5 would look like this, 00000101. Now negative 5, to get to determine negative 5, we will apply the twos bit or the twos complement operation to the number 5, essentially putting a negative sign in front of it. So the twos complement operation involves flipping all the bits, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 is the first operation, first step. So we flip all the bits and then we add 1. So negative 5 will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. Now this is obviously not all of the numbers in an 8-bit 2's complement system, but it gives you an idea of what what's a, a few of the numbers look like anyway. You'll notice that compared to the 4-bit four, four 2's complement system, we've got four extra leading zeros for the, for the positive numbers, for the number 0 to 7, and we've got four extra leading ones for the numbers negative 8 up to negative 1. And you can figure those out by applying the two's complement operation on, on the positive numbers. Now one of the big advantages of the two's complement system is that it allows addition and subtraction to be basically done with one block of logic. And the reason that you can do this is because instead of subtracting one number from another, you can do the addition of the negative of the number. And to get the negative of the number, you can apply the two's complement operation to that particular number. And let's do, let's do a quick example here. All right, let's go back to our 4-bit system. Well, first of all, let's just look at the operation of 5 minus 4. This is the same as 5 plus negative 4. So if you can develop a system where only you're only doing addition and you don't need extra logic or much extra logic to do subtraction, you're going to save a lot of gates in, in your design. So if we were to do this in, in binary form, in a 4-bit 2's complement system, the 5 would be equal to 0, 1, 0, 1 and the 4 would be equal to 0, 1, 0, 0. But again, this is the same as doing 0, 1, 0, 1 plus the negative of, of 0, 1, 0, 0, the negative of 4. And of course, the negative of a number in the 2's complement system is to take the 2's complement of that number. So to take the 2's complement of 4, 1, 0, 1, 0, flip all the bits first, like I just did there, add 1, and we get 0, carry the 1, 0, carry the 1, 1, 1, 5, plus negative 4, which is 1, 1, 0, 0. So I'm actually going to rewrite this in column form, just so you can see what, what's going on a little bit better. So 5 plus negative 4, 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. This is a 4-bit system though, so this 1 that we carried, we could, we're just going to discard. And what we're left over with is the answer, 0, 0, 0, 1. 5 plus negative 4 is, of course, 1. So I hope you learned a little bit in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.